guys, I'm back with another cooking video and today I'm going to make cheese bites with tomato sauce. So first we're going to make the tomato sauce. So we have to get some rapeseed oil and passata, onions and pepper and salami and we are going to boil them in rapeseed oil. So now I'm cutting the uh, peppers up ready to cut in the pan after I finish cutting it up. Okay, now we are going to put these in the pan. Okay, so along with our peppers we are going to put our onions in. Oh, this is so cold! It's a good job we're going to be heating them up. Okay, we're going to put a splash of rapeseed oil, then we are going to turn the heat on. About that. So now we're going to stir this gently until it starts to stop it. It might spit a bit, but you have to be careful. It probably doesn't help that I'm left-handed with this bit. So at this point, if you like garlics or herbs, you can put some of this in, but I don't really want to use it my sauce. So we're not going to have them today. So now it's almost done. We're going to turn the heat down and let the onion sweat for a few minutes. Like chopping the salami up into small pieces. So you just simply cut the ends like that. It's really stiff. Turn it around. Do same again, just on the other side. A bit more. Now we're going to mix it again. It's going to be my nice second. is looking good and we are going to cook this for five minutes okay now the onions have started browning and everything is cooking up nicely so we're going to add about 200 ml of passata so for us it'll be about up to there ready steady go Everything else, we're going to leave that on a low heat just to cook a bit more whilst we are doing everything else. We have put three slices of bread in the food processor and we are going to mix it till it turns into bread crumbs. <coughs> okay, now we're going to put the bread crumbs into a bowl plate. Thing. To making the cheese bites and we are going to mix two egg whites together and we will need 200 grams of cheese, two tablespoons of flour and breadcrumbs. I did this in a while. Carry on whisking it really quick until it gets 
little bit foamy. Like this. Now you can see that it started getting a bit stiffer. It looks like icing when you do it up. But keep whisking. Then we're going to put the cheese and the two tablespoons of flour into the egg whites. Like this. Flour. All of that cheese. Now we need to get a whisk or a spoon or whatever you have. Just whisk or mix that together. Oh, it's so hard. Okay, now all the cheese, flour, and egg whites should start coming together. And don't forget to keep mixing your sauce. Okay, so soon we are going to make our cheese into balls and shallow fry them in um, a frying pan. And um, since um, they're not going to be quite that big, we go we've put some spaghetti and pasta in for us all to go with it. And now we are going on to making our balls. So just get the cheese and the egg whites and flour and what we've put in there so you've made it into a ball and this is where the breadcrumbs comes in you just simply roll it and cover it in breadcrumbs just like this and um we are going to flatten it instead of having it in balls but you can have it in balls as well and then cover that in breadcrumbs Again. Just to give it another look. Okay, so now we are going to flip these. Daddy's doing it because this is a very hot pan. And it's very hard to flip them as well. So we have just taken our cheese bites out of the frying pan and we are going to put them in the oven for five minutes, five minutes. Oh sorry, not ten, five. and we're going to put a spoon of the sauce in each bowl. Mummy's got this one because she doesn't really like spaghetti that much. So we've put the cheesy bites on the top and we've finished! And that's the finishing look. And that's Mummy's finishing look. That's very good. And really hot. 